माई डियर फ्रेंड्स नेवर एवर स्क्रॉल यू लूज ए सुपर सिंपल शॉर्टकट हियर गॉड इन प्रिजम यू कैन जस्ट इमेजिन लाइट रे एंटर्स इन टू द प्रिजम राइट एंगल टू प्रिजम मेकिंग नाइनटी डिग्रीज इट स्ट्राइक्स अदर एंड हियर इट इज सिल्वर इट स्ट्राइक्स एंड रिट्रेसेस बैक अलॉन्ग द सेम पार्थ दैट मीन्स इट इज स्ट्राइकिंग एक्जैक्टली नाइनटी डिग्रीज वॉट इज इट मीन हियर दैट मीन्स I2 is equal to R2 is equal to zero, and you know the famous equation for a prism. R1 plus R2 is equal to. Or is that mu is equal to sin i by sin r is 30 degrees. Sin 30 is 1 by 2, and mu, mu value is going to be root 2 here. That means sin i is going to be root 2 by 2. Therefore, sin i is going to be 1 by root 2 because this gets cancelled here, which is going to be root 2. That means sin I is going to be one by root two means I is going to be. Don't scroll. Let me discuss how can you find out acceleration and tensions in this type of multiple pulley cases where we need not use any free body diagram. Directly can find out an acceleration. Here you can just see acceleration is nothing but downward forces minus upward forces. Here four kg, four into g is forty. So forty minus two into g is twenty. Divided by net mass, net force by net mass means you can just add them. This is six going to be. So acceleration is nothing but how much here? Twenty divided by six, which is nothing but ten by three meters per second square. It is going to be an acceleration. You can find out the tension here. These two blocks are heavier, moves down. This is moving upwards. Here tension downwards. If you find out this one here, it is going to be two into g minus a. M into g minus a. Tension downward means m into g minus a. That is two into g is ten minus a is nothing but ten by three here. It's nothing but how much tension t is equal to forty by three here. That is tension. If you want to find out the tension here, these two are different. If you consider this is t one, you can take this as t two here. Okay, this is the tension t two. Different tensions, different rocks, different tensions. Here t two is nothing but this is going upwards. So tension upward is nothing but m into g plus a, which is nothing but two into ten plus. 10 by 3. Okay, so like this, you can find out the acceleration and tensions in these cases. Thank you. My dear friends, don't scroll. Let me solve this problem without free body diagram in just fraction of seconds. You can just see here is asking us to find out an acceleration of a system. These two blocks downwards, this going forward. That's it. Now acceleration is nothing but you just remember one thing. Friction is acting backwards, which is mu mg, and there is going to be 10 newtons. Acceleration means downward force minus friction force. Downwards 16 newtons because 2 plus 4 6 into g 16 newtons. Minus this is 10 divided by net mass. Total masses you have to add, which is nothing but 10 here. You are getting 5 meter per second square. Now you need to find out t1 and t2. It is going downwards. These bodies are moving downward with an acceleration. So we have to write m into g minus a. If they were going upwards, it is m into g plus a. Now we write my dear students, t1 is holding only 4 kgs. So we write 4 into g minus a because it's coming downwards. So 10 minus 5, which is nothing but 4, 5, 20 newtons. Whereas T2 means it is holding 2 plus 4 combined together is going to be 6 here. 6 into 10 minus 5, which is nothing but 13 newtons. That's it. My dear students, I am going to teach you such a method where you will solve only 5% of problem and get 100% of results. What is that method here? According to law of homogeneity, we have to find out the values of A, B, and C here. You all know the dimensional formula of C will be equal to dimensional formula of T according to law of homogeneity. And C value T is only for D option. Remaining C values are not T. So directly can keep D option as the answer. Thank you very much. Hey students, this is an inclined plane with the concept of friction added to it. Now you can just see the block five. Coefficient of friction is also given. Then how many forces are acting on this block? On the inclined plane, one is mg sine theta is acting. That is 37. It'll be getting 30 newtons in this direction. Even friction is also acting in this direction. Friction is nothing but mu mg cos 30, which is nothing but 20 newtons you are getting. So 30 and 20 acting in in this direction. Only 100 newtons is acting. Okay. Then what is an acceleration here? Acceleration is nothing but these two differences. That means 100 minus 50. Net force means difference in the forces divided by total mass here. Total mass is nothing but 5 plus 10, which is nothing but 15. So acceleration is nothing but 50 divided by 15. So which is nothing but 10 by 3 meters per second square. Now what is the tension in this case? So tension is nothing but m into g minus a because this is coming downwards. So m into g minus a. If it is going up, plus you will get. So coming down, so m is nothing but how much? 10 into g is 10 minus a is nothing but 10 by 3, which is nothing but 200 divided by 3 newtons. No free body diagram is required. Just a simple method. This is my dear friends. This is a rope and this is a block. We are pulling with force P. Then what is the contact force between the rope and the block of mass capital M? The simple thing you have to remember here is acceleration of both the systems are going to be same. ये दोनों का acceleration same है. When acceleration is going to be same, then what is the contact force? Here you should remember one thing that 
force is directly proportional to mass when acceleration is constant. Then what is the force here? The total force is P and the contact force is going to be Fc. And Fc is pulling capital M and P is pulling both small m and capital M. So small m plus capital M divided by capital M. This is the concept here. Then you need to find out what is Fc is going to be capital M into P by small m plus capital M. This is going to be the contact force. Thank you very much. My dear friends, don't scroll. How can you solve this type of a complex systems in a super simple way? First thing is, you need to find out a common acceleration for all the blocks which are moving forward. And the common acceleration is net force by net masses. Net force is capital F. And net masses are nothing but all the four masses which is taken as 4M here. If you want to find out what is the tension T1, this T1 is pulling three masses, so we write 3M into A, because all the masses are going to be same. If you want to find out T2 is pulling only two masses, you have read 2M into A. And T3, if you want to find out it is pulling only a single mass, so you have read M into A. This A value substitute in all the three cases, then you are getting the final answer. For example, if you substitute in T3, you will be getting M into A. A is nothing but 4 by, I mean, F by 4 M. Let's cancel. So, T3 is equal to F by 4. Okay. Similarly, you can find out T2 and T1 also. Thank you. Why, yes, friends, how can you find out acceleration and tensions in these type of systems where we need to avoid free body diagram and solve the problem in a super simple way? First thing is you need to find out an acceleration is nothing but the difference in the forces. Force is nothing but m into g. This is 3 into g is 30. This is 2 into g is 20. Divided by total mass, you have to add all the three masses, which is going to be 10 here. And you'll be getting how much? 1 meter per second square is going to be an acceleration. Now this moves up and this body comes down. When a body moves up, tension is considered to be m into g plus a. Okay, which is nothing but 2 into 10 plus 1 because acceleration we got it as 1. So this is going to be 11 to 22 newtons. Now you need to find out the tension downward and this block is moving downwards. So tension down is nothing but m into g into g minus a is going to be the formula. As it is going down, you have to consider the mass of this body and 10 minus 1. Okay, 9 3s are 27 newtons. Here the tension is 27 newtons and here the tension is going to be just 22 newtons. These two tensions are different because these two ropes are going to be different. Thank you.